Welcome back. In between the past, there's been a few changes. As you can tell, I changed what equipment I've got. I've got a giant gun, cannon, rocket thing on my back. I saw it and it was like, well, I'm getting that. I don't care. It looks silly. You know how I am with the cannons at the moment. So it's sort of like, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, quests. Really? There you are, finally. I've been looking all over for you. With Corwin gone, you're the only one left who can help. Please help me save my team. Uh, if my cannon will help. Whatever this hell this thing is on my back. Uh, ask Rayleigh to first explain what happened. Right, sorry. I need to learn to stay calm like you. Let me explain. That black skull has been targeting members of Corwin's team. We've lost contact with a number of blades now who never made it back to the city. So Corwin put together a rescue team of himself at the lead, and they left New LA a while ago. But now they've all gone dark as well, and I'm the only member of the team left. I was pretty much panicking, but then I suddenly remembered you, Twit. I appreciate that. Considering the skill you've displayed for Saw and your giant cannons, well, that's not something you'll easily forget. So please, save my team. I beg you. Ba 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 ba. I knew you'd agree. Thank you. First, I need you to help Peter's group. They went missing over in Oblivia. I'll get to work on pinpointing the others and call you as soon as I know more. Probably running from me. Take a hint and get off my tail already. Flattered by the interest, but alien murder squads aren't my type. Huh? What are you doing here? Is that a nuclear bomb on your back? Don't tell me you're another groupie. Hi. I just want to uh, just keep things moving. Perfect. Then you and the creep swallow me can duke it out. Yeah, that's fine. Excuse me, have you seen my nuclear bomb? Um, maybe you want to run. It's gonna go boom. It's like, let's get out of this thing. Even though they're flying all over the place. Because I want to test it out. I want to, I want to test the, 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 the boom. Look at that. Yes. I mean, oh, I mean, yeah. So, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm more melee focused, but come on. If I have to go a bit of range every so often to do stuff, why, why, why not throw this in? Boom! Are there still things around? Apparently. Well, things are dead. Uh, let's put my big laser away. I mean, it does look like a nuke, doesn't it? It's the second I saw his design, I was like, I'm changing what I'm doing just for that. Just because it looks so silly. <laughs> nice. That was amazing. Anyway, do you want to go to Ireland? I I think I just became your groupie. Is that weird to say? But it's also weird randomly bumping into you here. Are you working a job in oblivion like me? What? Wait, really, Sergio? Then you're the cavalry. And you really saved my hide. Whatever that black skull is, it tore my group apart. We didn't last a minute. We bailed out at our skulls and scattered. I hightailed it for cover, but those creeps just now were waiting for me. Hmm. Ask about the black skull. What? I think I'm going after it or something. I can't tell if you're brave or stupid either way. Wow. What can I say? The thing's a beast. We took it on three against one and didn't stand the snowball's chance. So damn fast, I don't think we even hit it once. Hello, Peter here. Oh, sure. Now I get a call. Probably my second in command. She's a real mother hen about stuff. But, um, Peter, if you come... Uh, mm, huh? 
Is that Bates? Bates, hey, where are you, man? Rocky area. Lots of lava. That's, uh, black ske- Oh, uh, me up, guy. Okay, you e back. Where can- Oh, this safe. Uh, the way out, Albert. Yeah, uh, I got him. Yeah, uh. Tell me, I can barely get a signal. Sounds like he's in Coldross. Never been out there before. You know the lay of the land, right? Can you steer Bates toward an escape? Another dead end. Current sea can't seem. Orim Sim Castle from here near Emerian Battlegrounds. Guidance Tower? What? Evac spot. Which direct head toward? Um. Go south into the lava. Roger that. Head up. Then I. Got a signal. Yeah, he probably walked into the lava. And there's a lot to ask, but please head to Cold Trust and get him out of there. Bates runs like an asthmatic turtle. He falls behind even a little bit. It's all over. He's just a rookie, and there are a ton of things I still have to show him. Don't let him die out there. I'll try. Well, here he is. He arrived at the caravan as I planned. Oh. Hey, it's Twit. So it was you telling me to head south. I thought I recognized that voice on the other end of the line. What would happen if I told him to go the other way? Oh, I worry if he's hurt. Ah, fine, thanks to you. Not a scratch on me. I had no idea there was a knop on caravan so close. Little fur balls saved my neck. They let me hide here while the black skull was looking for me. Eventually gave up and left. Uh oh, that's your radio, right? Wonder if it's really. Really, yeah. Do you copy? You just said you went into the evacuate baits. Uh, did you find the rook alive? After all I've been through, I'm a veteran now. So hey, really? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Glad to hear it. Now, if you're ready, Twit, I've got your next assignment, Twit. Twit, Twit, Twit. Bad make contact with Corwin. He is in Banshee Cave over in Silvalum. Or Silvalum. And that was all he could tell me before he started taking fire. The bastards were right on top of him. Counting on you to see him back to New LA with no extra holes in him. I'll make sure he comes back with no holes in him. We're taking your sewing kit. It means a lot. You're as reliable as Corwin. Just promise me you'll keep your eyes peeled for that black scale, alright? I'm sorry to keep you leaving everything to you. It really burns me up, but the best thing I can do now is head home and stay out of your way. We all joined this team out of respect for Corwin. Without him, there wouldn't even be a team. If he dies, the team dies with him. No matter how many of us survive. So promise me you'll do everything you can, okay? I mean, I promise, but, you know, wherever I will. It's these things again outside. It's like, I'm just wondering, like, that pattern they have, like, on their face? The, the front bit, that sort of, like targeting sensor sort of thing, almost like what I call the eye. Is that sort of like, um... What's the name? Kamos or whatever. It's like, like her visor. What's her name again? Oh, that's good. Remind me. The, the really rare pull that's actually from Xenosaga or Xenogears? I'm not entirely sure. But you know the one, and also the other one as well. The, the, you know the ones that like sort of like mechanical people-y type thing. Hello? Let's go with that. I'll come in with, a, with, 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 with this. Ooh. I love the, I love this gun. It's so zappy zappy. Oh, that's Corwin, I just realized. Hello, Corwin. All the dots. Hey there. Come on this way just to bail me butt out. Me butt, yes. Uh, not only can I not keep my own people safe, I made up a blade, risk their lives and necks to save mine. I'm worthless. Tell Corwin he isn't worthless. Everyone's dead but me. That demon killed them all. The least I could do was lead the charge. I'll never forgive myself for this. Some of them were like Peter. Joke that 
If they saw that black skull, they'd be halfway to New LA before I even noticed. They should have run. They were right. Nothing matters if you don't survive, so why didn't Galileo have to? They all formed a shield so I could run. The thing... Bullets tore right through them. It was my job to tear through them, huh? It should have been me shielding them. Oh, right. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, like, why were you fighting them? I'm the one who should be dead. Uh, berate him for wallowing in self-pity. You're a tough one, but me, I'm over. What? What do you mean? I still have a purpose. I'm the only one who can rebuild the team? And what about Bates? Is Bates alive? Well, I guess there's still a rock who needs to be pounded into shape. Mm. Sorry, you're right. Times like these are when I need to keep it together the most. I have to overcome every trial, no matter how painful. I expect no less of my team, after all. Guess we should take a look at the mouth of the cave, so... See what we're up against. But I am getting out of here alive. I carry the weight of the whole team now, and I'm not stopping until I can lay it to the rest. Back in the last human city. What? No idea what I just said. But too caught up on... Saying things certain ways. It's a silver and banshee cave. It sounds like it's outside. Based on what he said, but... And there he is. Ah, oh, it would be nice to see that properly from that angle. I thought that was going to be it, but nope. It ended too quickly. Corwin! Hello? There. She gave up and left. Not likely insect. Ha 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 ha. You should have given up and added yourself to the body pile when it would have been quick. But no, you weren't content with just sniffing around where you don't belong. You had the gall to scuttle around and waste my time, and now I'll show you what happens for it. You know, if it's a bother, we can just leave and you can get back to whatever you... <laughs> Funny jokes from the bug who used his underlings as a meat shield. They were big talkers too, your men. Briefly. As long as the boss lives, so do our dreams. Death can take... Can't, can't take it, yes. That's what they said. What did you think? Are supposed to be the one called Galileo. Galileo figured out Magnifico. Pretty good, right? Oh, but I spent quite some time on that one. He wasn't so brave by the end. Mostly just a bunch of pathetic sobbing and wailing. I'm gonna tear your heart clean out. Hello? He spoke of a dream. Insects don't deserve a dream. And I'll enjoy watching the hope drain out of you, too, along with the last of your blood. Twit. I'll handle the small fry. I think you can take out the big dog. Yeah, go on then. Alright then, let's do this. You. I remember you. In the mountains. Came all this way to be added to my collection, did you? Hm. Well, it would be cruel to deny you. I will enjoy watching you arrive on the pin. I'll have you die, because in the very day you were born. Now come at me. Let's see here, yeah, let's, let's, let's get a good look of um, everything we're doing here. Let's wait for 
this to come around. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. Talk to Corwin at the entrance. Oh, well, he's over here then. I, I did. I did press it. Oh. That was some fight. Can't believe you beat that monster. At least now the men I lost can rest a little easier. Um. Hmm. Ask Corwin about the dream that. Tempera mentioned. The day we formed the team, we all swore we wouldn't stop until we'd seen every inch of mirror and laid all her secrets bare. This rock is like a giant ball of mysteries. What explorer wouldn't share that dream? So yes, mirror is our dream. And it will be for as long as I am around. Alright, ready to head back to New LA? I'm in a hurry to start picking up the pieces. I never thought I'd see their faces again. Thank you, Twit. What you brought home was priceless. I only wish this reward had anywhere near as much value. It'll do. We lost a lot of good blades, but Corwin and I won't stop until we rebuild the team. Good luck to you and the other members of Elma's team. I'm sure there are plenty of others depending on you as well. Hey, you there! Woo! Yes, you. You seem absolutely bored to death. Why not spend a little quality time with me? Um, I consider it. I am a fan of quality time. Oh, I do like honesty. But unfortunately, I am not propositioning you. Not this time, anyway. But never say never. Those government mucky mugs have given me a job, and while I'm flattered to be asked for by name, I could still use a little help. You probably already heard the rumors, but talk is some team took down a huge beastie out in Silvalum. Silvalum? Well, the big lungs buddy is still just sitting there, so they want me to bring it in for research and dissection and whatnot. Which brings me to my itty bitty little favor. And with that, I let my friend here explain the details. They hired him to do all the analysis bits. Uh, okay. You're a bit hard to live up to excitement-wise, but I guess I'll try. Probably for the best uh, that I... Boring, though, uh, right? Since the next part is rather uh, serious. Uh, rude. I was totally serious. So, the aforementioned Big Lunk was apparently a massive ganglion weapon, you see. We had previously dismissed them as a band of thugs, but this is some fairly impressive tech. And the Manon aren't the type to let tasty morsels like this go to waste, are we? So we have taken a proactive interest in this case, you understand? Make it sound so noble. You little hyenas just want your turn picking the bones of the lion's kill. No, that, that's not true. So what's a hyena? Or a lion for that matter? Our motives are half a tireless thirst for scientific knowledge and half a desire to waste nothing. I think those are both noble, aren't they? Uh, it's a lovely pack of excuses, but can we get on with this? Someone's liable to snatch up our treasure if we stand about gabbing. Uh, I would if you'd stopped interrupting me, yes. Uh, anyway, moving along, all right. Initial reports suggest the engine and what we suspect is the cockpit remain largely unharmed. But obviously, if other parts are also salvageable, then so much the better, right? In other words, we just need to go out there and grab whatever you can, if that's okay with you. Anything that's completely ruined is safe to ignore. I hope I can maybe just leave that judgment to you. Bum 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 bum. Is that clear? Does it all make sense? Good. Then please, please hurry uh, if that's alright. Walking fast is good, but maybe running would be better. Oh, I know you won't disappoint me. I'll be waiting. Alright, so I want to grab bits from all over the place then. Try to ignore things as we try and get these pieces. You salvage cockpit wreckage from the Zoo Farag's remains. What even is the Zoo Farag again? I think something that was obviously big enough to leave wreckage all over the place would be something I'd remember. It's probably in plain sight and I just don't realise. You salvage useful wreckage from the Zoo Farag's remains. Wait, there's more bits around in this location? I thought that was going to be it. 
One of three? Okay, so we gotta find the others. Oh, you're back! You work quick, don't you? Can I see what you found out there? Yes, there you go, there you go, there you go. Hmm, this is the cockpit block. Here's the engine. This looks like part of a drive system, but... Hmm, maybe not. What is this thing? Hmm, strange. So strange. Aha! Wait, no. Sounds like you got yourself a satisfied customer. You're pretty good, Tiger. You and I could go places if you ever wanted to team up. Satisfaction guaranteed. Such a satisfaction depends on what you're into. Oh, that's what this is, of course. Yes, you startled me, you little maniac. I was just getting to the good part. Sorry, I just couldn't wrap my head around what this device was for, you know? If you step back and stop thinking like a madon, it probably becomes fairly obvious, doesn't it? This reroutes any used energy from the engine to boost the output of what I'm guessing is a weapon system, you see? Which is something that a madon just wouldn't ever think to to do. Not that we couldn't, of course, it's just that I don't really care about weapons, right? Uh, at all? When it comes to making things fly or move fast, I don't think there are any better engineers in the entire galaxy. But if all you care about is breaking things, then you should probably talk to the ganglion, you know? As a technophile, it's all pretty captivating, isn't it? But, but when I think about what it's actually used for, I get a cold tingle down my back. Well, sure, but we're going to have to keep fighting these things and preferably winning. Sitting around talking about how amazing or distressing it is doesn't help much. A uh, fair point to guess? I'll put a rush on analyzing this salvage and apply it to our upgrading and developing new weapons right away, all right? We Manon still aren't fans of weapons, but... Uh, this isn't the time to be picky, I guess. So we'll do whatever we can. Our technological revolution is just getting started. But I hope that maybe you'll enjoy the next thing our labs cop up. Oh, that was that. That was that quest. Well, he disappeared. Hmm. What to do? Hey, you're on Blade 2, right? Then why... You'd be smart to watch out for Gus and his crew. Yeah, good people die after this bastard set their sights on my team. And for what? For nothing. Uh... What are you on about? My team and I were in the field collecting research samples. A man called himself Gus approached with some men and said that indigents had killed most of his team. Obviously, we felt terrible, so we said we'd help with their bounty missions. We fought the targets to the edge of a tall cliff, and as soon as the battle was finished, Gus and his men pushed us off. It was all a lie. They just wanted the reward of outdoing the work. My crew and I still have two missions left to finish, but I was the only one to survive. Oh, I thought it'd be, I'd be crazy from anger and grief. If it did for a little while, I suppose. So look, I know this is a lot to ask, I get that, but... Uh, is there any way I could get you to join me? Temporarily, I mean. Just until I finish the missions. I know it's probably a little sentimental, but... I don't want to finish what we all started. My people were proud blades, and they deserve it. da da dun dun you're a good person. Thank you. Even after what's happened with all the challenges we've faced since leaving Earth, I can't help but feel a deep connection with other blades. Uh, I, I, I agree with that shared bond. I knew you'd get it. Honestly, I think Gus and his ilk... You don't even mean his elk? Oh, well. That's a Dave Gorman joke. And some kind of aberration that shouldn't exist. Damn them all to hell. Sorry, got a little emotional there. Anyway, I need you to help hunting a Linka Skirpo near us, Lake in Noctilum. It's a dangerous target, so be careful. Mate, have you seen the gun on my back? Well, I teleported in, it's right here, so it's like, well, um... I'm gonna go all out. I'm gonna go all out. Just wait for it to come up. There we go. I was going to say, why, why is it not finished? Hey there, champ. That's some pretty impressive fighting you did there. Taking 
taking out an ugly that big must fetch a fat bounty. You're gonna be tired. Why not let your fellow blades collect the cash for you while you catch some shut eye? <sighs> Get furious at him. <laughs> this is this one spout off like someone gives a rat's ass. I guess you don't know what happens to people who cop that kind of attitude with us. But no worries, old Gus will teach you soon enough. She's all yours, fellas. Time to teach Quincy's little erring girl here how we do things downtown. You aren't downtown anymore, mate. This is my turf. This is my turf, and I'm unleashing. Did I not? Where's my TP? That's not fair. Get enough TP from that? Oh, I suppose. Because I would have used it, my health would have been low, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what happened there. I forgot I used it in the previous fight. I, I expect things to reset, that's the issue. But no. This ain't gonna happen, I'm out of here. Okay, but I'm gonna remember you, sweetheart. You'll regret making an enemy of me real soon. And that's a promise. Goodbye! Oh, hello. We are the Blades. Final hope of humankind. He's singing, definitely. Partners in peace, leaving no one behind. Ah, you're back and just standing there. Listening to me. Uh, this is uh, awkward. Uh, so that was our team song. I like to sing it sometimes to help me remember the guys. Anyway, what's the status on the mission? Um, done. And, and we'll encourage him to keep, keep singing, though. Well, if you insist, I am happy to share a verse or two of the Ballad of the Blades. From the Mother of Earth in search for a new home, reigning ever vigilant, and tireless as we roam. Sounds like a drinking song, but... Though we may shed tears for all we have lost, we support one another and survive at any cost. We are the Blades, final hope of humankind, partners in peace, leaving no one behind. Ooh, sorry, I got a little carried away there. Anyway, th that's the first 13 verses, plus coders. So what do you think? Do you get a sense of how tight we were? I suppose. Great, that's great. Now, what were we... Oh, right! How did the missions go? Gus and his men turned up. I wonder if he was watching when I asked you to help. I hate to think of what he might be planning. But can I ask you to help with one last mission? Go on then. Overcome. The kindred spirits, you and I. Now sing with me, sing, sing! Uh, no singing? You sure? Good fight home if you. Uh, right then, I guess I'll move on to the second mission. You need to retrieve a rare stone known as the Crimson Tear from Devil's Colony in Oblivia. But I've heard rumors of terrible indigens living in these caravans, so be prepared for anything. My gun looks so stupid. Yeah. Hey, you're the one working for Quincy. Please, lady, you gotta help me. You just gotta. The boys and I had us eggs for breakfast today. Okay. And now Mummy Dearest here yeah, ain't happy about it. Well, you're on your own, mate. She's already eaten my boys and now I'm clean out of ammo. I'm real bad shape here. Come on, we're both blades, right? So help me. Doing for the bond that Daisy headed idiot Quincy's always yammering on about. You're on your own. I'll oh, screw you and the scully rode in on, pal. You mean my cannon? How dare you? You die now. And take a number, cause you're next in line as soon as I kill this thing. Good luck without the guns and the, and the ammo and. I ain't letting nobody at Crimson. Uh, at that Crimson chair. It's mine, you hear me? Mine! Yes, we'll see about that. No! Ah well. It's yours, eat him. It literally left us alone, that's strange. Just it was the stare. 
I think that was odd about it. Just that idea of like... So it's almost like he understood what exactly was going on. He was like, yeah, I've, I've, I've done that, so I'm off now. But I got the thing I needed, so... Alright. I'm glad you're back safe. How did it go? Did you get the Crimson Tear? Now, yeah, highly translucent ruby red jewel of stunning beauty and scarcity. Yeah, it's undoubtedly worth a pretty credit. Yes, this is it. What a stunning gem. Wait, you saw Gus and his men provoking the creatures there. And then they were eaten. Wow, I must feel bad for them. Almost. Uh, I spare no pity for traitors. Can't judge you for that. It's possible my dead friends are resting easier now, too. Yeah, this is the combined reward for both missions. Please take it. I thank you again. Now my old friends can be at peace until we find the Lifehold Core. It's that strange thing of like... Everyone's resting their hopes on the Lifehold Core being like, Oh, our friends will come back. It's like... Uh, I've got suspicions about that. Now we do have other quests we need to do, like some around here, like one there, one there. And one up here, that, that'll be the start of the next part. But this one is like, we've already started, we're part way through Rites of Ruin. But I honestly can't remember that, move the mask, move the mask. I can't remember where we were with that, so let's have a look. Rites of Ruin, still need to figure out these off to records. So. We will be doing that one in the next part, Rites of Ruin. Go to Calderos Bandit's Refuge and rescue Staccata. Well, alright then. So we'll see you in the next part. Look at that cannon. Ta-ta for now. Yeah,